just about to enter Grand Central Terminal, I'm about to meet Noah Scanlon, who wrote this amazing book called Unstuck. 52 ways to get your creative juices flowing, and I'm one of the contributors, so I'm really excited to meet him and get his inspiration. Here's my page. I found here, right in the heart of Grand Central Terminal, Noah Scanlon and his sister, Micah. Micah. Hi. We're here to talk about this, right here. This one. Unstuck. Unstuck. Isn't this a great spot here? Uh, that square patch right there? No. See the black square yeah. patch? When they renovated the ceiling, they left that patch to just show how dirty it was. Oh, where you, the sound goes over? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Not here. here. Yeah, it does. Which one? This one? All right, so you stand in that corner. Face in, and I'll stand in this corner. Can you hear me? Test, test. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. <laughs> I can hear you. You can hear us? The question is, how do you get unstuck? The biggest inspiration I get is from collaboration. I really love to work with other people, and I find that even my best ideas get way better once I start talking to someone else about them sharing and then learning skills from other people as well so you know it really just makes things so much more wonderful when it's not being done alone i call it this inspiration loop you know where it's like you get inspired and then you put it out there and inspire other people and it comes right back to you again and then it keeps going and i love that the projects were based on things i'd already done before but i didn't have 52 ideas already since the book has 52 projects in it so i had to immediately start talking to friends about well how did they get unstuck and they gave me tons of great ideas so the collaboration was was important with the book as well i did it the book cover myself that's my own illustration and so you know i wanted to have a very playful accessible style it, it's meant to be for everyone it's not just for artists or creative people already certainly they can use it but it's really for anyone and i want it to be something like young people could use or adults that are professionals already, business people, you know, that doesn't have to be something that's daunting. It's not about a specific result, it's about a journey, right? It's about an experience that you're going to have. And that experience is what's going to get your brain going in a new path. I really live on a philosophy of trying to appreciate every day as fully as possible. And I think when you sort of delve into this world of creativity, which everybody has, we're all born creative, we all did creative things as kids, and then at some point, for a lot of people, it got clamped down. And so it's really about sort of reaching back into that, what's already within you, that tapping that well, and enjoying life, enjoying the world, appreciating what you have, and appreciating each other. And I think that leads to living life more fully and appreciating what, what gift it is to be around on this planet.